If you've ever seen a gossip rag at the checkout, the evening TV tabloid, or you just spend a little too much time on the internet, you know that celebrities now and again end up in the slammer. Movie stars, politicians, and yes, even musicians. It's a part of everyday life, but has it always been this way? If you look back hundreds of years ago, you will see not much has changed. And if we're honest, musicians have always had a flair for rebellion. Russian composer Stravinsky was arrested for dissing the American anthem. Schubert was thrown in jail for acting like a hooligan with his buddies. And then there's our jailbird of the day. The defendant, Johann Sebastian Bach. The charge? Quitting his job. The accuser? His boss, Prince Wilhelm Ernst. It all began in December 1760. Samuel Dreza, the head musician the court at Weimar, dies. Although Bach was more qualified, Dreza was replaced by Dreza Jr. Refusing to play second fiddle, Bach found himself another job. Unfortunately, you just didn't quit your job in the 1700s. Prince Wilhelm said, no can go, and Bach blew his proverbial wig off. We are unsure if Bach had the chutzpah to lose his temper right in front of his boss's face or to an underling. However, this power struggle went on until the prince finally had had enough and put Bach behind bars. But Bach ended up getting his way in the end. He knew his talent was worth it. After about a month in jail with no sign of repentance, the prince said, Uncle, along with Bach, you fired. Bach grabbed the wife, six kids, and the family schnauzer went off to his new job. All's well that ends well. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you on the next episode of Musical Time Machine.